Let's talk about functional fit versus fastidiousness. This is a pair of Rancourts. They're made in Lewiston, which is not very far from here. I have had these for about three years. These are a pair of Russell Moccasins. I've had them for about a month. Let's just look these over. Let's have a look at the hand-sewn toe stitches from Maine. Let's have a look at the hand-sewn stitches from Wisconsin. Let's have a look at just the general stitching and cutting around the boot. And let's have a look at the same. Now, if you're thinking, Matt, well, what did you do? Put these through World War III? No, uh, all these marks came brand new out of the box. I've got photos. That was out of the box. Uh, all, all these, like, wrinkles and this tumbled look and all that. That was, like, right out of all these scratches. Um, not, the, not the ones on the heel. Those are me. But, like, all this stuff was, like, right out of the box. Um, and, uh, again, these are three years old, and I've worn these way more, and, uh, I just recently wore these, uh, hiking in the kind of woods, uh, that, uh, I use the Russell moccasins in now, and that's all there is, and that'll brush out the next time I oil them. So, I feel like, oh, and let's, let's have a look at the welts, shall we? Now, granted, this is not uh, a sewn-on welt. This is a, a Blake-stitched boot, and the welt... Uh, well, actually, excuse me, I'm using the wrong term here. The leather you're looking at is actually a midsole, to which the upper has been Blake-stitched. Um, but there is no decorative welt stitching on this one. On the other hand, this is also a leather midsole to which the upper has been Blake-stitched, However, in this case, there is decorative stitching. Decorative stitching. Decorative stitching. Which you don't see on all Russells, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure they should have attempted it here. Decorative stitching. Um, this pair of boots was from their Dirigo collection. I got this for something like, I don't know, like one, 180 or 195 Uh, these were more than $600. So, now that we've talked about aesthetics, I feel like I don't even need to make any commentary. Let's talk about fit. And you'll get your first clue looking down into this boot. Look at where the arch is, especially. Now down into this boot. See how narrow we get at the arch there? It really tapers in. So I'm just going to try and do this on camera as best I can. Ah. with one hand. You could almost hear how that had to suck on a little bit, right? And uh, I'm not going to tie them up, but I am going to tighten them a little bit. Because it's a tightened state will be pertinent to what I want to communicate here.
Let me just give these similarly just a little tightening up. Oh, if I can, these laces are going to be slipperier, of course. Well, it'll be good enough. So, how are my feet sitting in these boots? Well, my arch, I'm touching it. Like, it's, it's like right there. It's like right there. My heel is just, it's right there. Um, and I didn't lace these up, but when I do, like... They just, they, they wrap around my ankle. Everything is up till about here. Actually, I'm sorry, about here. Everything is, so around the ball of my foot. Everything is tight and snug and unbelievably well-fitted, as it should be, because these are a custom pair of boots. And then for my toes, I can splay. I can splay my toes out. Here's my pinky toe. Here's my big toe. I will I will splay my feet as much as I can within the boot. I can splay about that far within the boot. So not as much as I possibly could, but like a good splay. Like that's how far I can get inside that boot. Now, the Rancourts. There's... A long way in to get to my arch. They're, they're just a great deal wider out. The Blake stitch is a long ways out from where my actual arch is. Normal in this kind of moccasin, in main moccasins, whether it's a boat shoe, a camp shoe, a ranger, whatever. They're all kind of like that for me. My heel? Yeah, I gotta... I gotta get I gotta get in there. There's some play there. I gotta squish in there. This curve is pretty good. But side to side, yeah, I got I gotta get in there. And there's not really a way to wear thick enough socks to deal with that because the toe My toes aren't squished together. But here's my little toe. There's my big toe. And I'm just against, I'm against that stitching a little bit more. And I'll show you how much I can spread in those. It's like, eh, eh. You know, it's not as much. It's like, eh, versus, eh. You know, it's a big difference. And there's not much vertical room. Like, there's just not a lot of play inside of these. So, while these are an, a, a more carefully made, aesthetically superior boot with maybe nicer leather, these, which were made to a modified last, made to match my feet, um, feel amazing. I will never voluntarily hike in anything but these again. They just feel amazing. But I can't say that they look A, how they feel, or B, as I would expect for the price. I wish this level of craftsmanship was applied to this level of fit. But, um, I bought these for hiking in my woods. I am not disappointed in them for that purpose. Every time I've gone out in my woods in these, I've been so happy I have them on. But every time I look at them, I feel a little bit of dissatisfaction. <laughs>